Hi guys and welcome to a new video on Sommel's life. Now as you can tell from the title of this video, we are sticking with the whole yes Jay White has left New Japan but we are not removing him off Sonal's life and we are going to incorporate him and All Elite Wrestling into this New Japan and Japanese wrestling bubble that we have. So basically when I'm filming this, this is a Wednesday afternoon in the UK and tonight, so in America, Jay White is set to have his debut match on All Elite Wrestling against, let me just check his name... Commander. Now it's a bit of a weird because I don't know who Commander is and apparently this is his debut match on AEW. So I assume, and this is just they're gonna lead into the whole video, I'm just gonna assume that one, Jay White won, two, no other shenanigans happened, so no members of the Bullet Club were brought in, black and gold didn't like get bigger, nobody decided to challenge him for a feud. Because if that's happened, this might impact the video. But let's just imagine none of that happened. And Jay won the match against Commander and is now getting ready to start a new career and a new chapter in All Elite Wrestling. He has faced some of the best wrestlers in the world from the minute that he first became a young lion in New Japan to his final match. He was wrestled as a young lion, he wrestled as part of Chaos, in Bullet Club for titles, in non-title matches against the best gaijin and Japanese talent in the world. But now he's got a new roster to conquer. So many new names that Jay has not even thought about or probably imagined that he'd wrestle. So I have got a list of the, I guess, six, seven, how many people I want Jay White to face and the storylines that I want him to have with it. So yeah, let's get going with my list of potential AEW feuds and matches for Jay White. So I'm not going to go in any order. But I'm just gonna say it off the top of my head which ones I want. Now first, 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 I mentioned this when Jay White went All Elite. Jay White versus Kenny Omega. In particular, I need it to happen now. While Kenny Omega, if anyone forgot, is holding the IWGP United States Championship. Now, there's several reasons why I want this feud to happen. Number one. This basically happened when I just started watching New Japan. In 2017, New Japan created a brand new title called the Uni United States Championship. And after a very long tournament, Kenny Omega beat Tomohiro Ishii in the finals to become the inaugural champion. And he held that for many, many, many months. And due to the fact that he was still in Japan at the time, he had a pretty decent reign. There was quite a few defenses. He really raised the prestige of this new belt. However, Fast forward to January 2018, I need to get these dates right, Jay White made his return from excursion and had a match against Hiroshi Tanahashi. Oddly enough, while that wasn't really a thing and that we don't really talk about that much, Jay White then joined Chaos and set his heart and his mind on Kenny Omega and the United States title. He eventually won this, so he shocked fans because basically he'd been in New Japan for about two months maybe give or take. And Kenny had been pretty much dominating the entire company still, even with the secondary belt. And so JY beat him. JY, I, this was before the initial Switchblade shock, but JY shocked fans when he beat Kenny in a phenomenal match at the New Beginnings, I believe, for the title and his first ever title. For me, I remember that match clearly because there was a lot of swearing. Jay had his black hair with the blondish white roots and it was basically the establishment of the Switchblade while he was in chaos. Now that's why I want this feud to happen now. I want a full circle. Jay managed to come into New Japan, I guess you could say he debuted again, and two months after beat Kenny for the title. He has now come to Kenny's new home who is holding the title, and wouldn't it be funny if like two months down the line, Jay went back and beat Kenny for the title. Now obviously it's probably not going to happen because we have a tournament and whoever wins this tournament, so I think it's Lance Archer versus either Osprey or Tanahashi, will face Kenny Omega at some point for this United States title. However, a girl can dream. I also feel like Kenny has not faced Jay since Jay went full on switchblade heel bullet club. 
And with all this stuff going on, like, I don't know, is Kenny still Bullet Club? Is this still a thing? I'd love to see them wrestle again. And obviously, Jay White is a much better wrestler now. It's been five years since I think they last faced each other. And just to see it again, that's what I need. Like, I need it now. And I think it'd be nice to see it because I'd be like, two New Japan guys fighting in an AEW ring. Who'd have thought? And leading on from that, another person is an, an ex New Japan Bullet Club hangman page yes now again this links to the whole united states champ championship after jay beat kenny the first person that came to challenge jay for the title was hangman page and that for me was one of the best things that could happen because at that time hangman and jay were probably two of my favorites they were both very big strong men who were very diverse in the ring so Jay was very much good at like the, the submissions. He was very like a defensive wrestler. Hangman Page, despite his size and weight and obviously his power, was a very agile man. And just telling you, they are two very handsome wrestlers. That that just pushed that aside. Their feud was actually really good because they were both trying to get into the minds of each other psychologically. I think this was during a America show. I can't remember off the top of my head which one it was. And they had an amazing press conference. And I think that what's quite funny is since New Japan, both have had a huge change. So like I said, Jay has become a member of the Bullet Club. And I almost think like Hangman Page is trying to move away from that. We saw that he's not really as close with the other former elite members as a lot of them are now. And even towards the end of his time in Bullet Club and in New Japan, he brought out a different side, a less heel side. I'm going to bring it up again. I think I bring it up in every single video linking AEW and New Japan. In the G1, Hiroshi Tanahashi said he wanted to take Hangman Page and suck out the poison. Well, let's see what Hangman Page is like against the poison that New Japan managed to get rid of. And again, it's another case with Kenny versus Jay to see how far they've come. So yes, Jay is one of the best wrestlers in the world. He's been heavyweight champion. He is, the, he was the leader of the biggest faction in the world. But Hangman has also won titles. He has also made a huge statement in AEW. So that will be fun. Before I go about anything that could possibly like more likely be the case and more accurate and realistic, let's just quickly throw onto some that I would like to see personally. And we are going to start with... DDT's Konosuke Takeshita. Is he still DDT? I don't know. You guys know how much I love DDT. That is, aside from New Japan and Tokyo Joshi, the only other promotion that I watch. And that has been probably since 2019. And I've watched Takeshita grow. He, even when I was watching him in those early days, he was one of the main guys in DDT. I even compare him to like an Okada. You've got Harishima, who is like the Tanahashi of DDT. And I always thought that Takeshita was like the Okada. Big strong men who are very agile and just have this star charisma. This is very much a contrast, I guess, to what Jay is. Yes, Jay has that star charisma, but Takeshita is a crowd pleaser. In DDT, he was one of the crowd's favourites. Here in AEW, he's really gaining attention. And I just like to say, thanks AEW for bringing the rest of the 37 Kamina because I feel like everyone's like Takeshita, Takeshita, but he is part of a team. This will be an amazing match because Okada and Jay have had amazing matches. Does I assume Kenny? No. <laughs> I assume Takeshita and Jay will. I think Takeshita is probably the same height, maybe even taller. A similar build, very muscular. And I feel like their styles and personalities will clash in the best way possible. You've got someone with a pure heart of gold, with that true Japanese fighting spirit. And then you've got Jay White who although was raised, I guess, with Japanese fighting spirit, found a different path leading to him in Bullet Club. Again, there's probably going to be no storyline behind this. There's no past between the two. Um, they've not met before. There's no real for Jay, reason for Jay to have beef with Takeshita and no be reason for Takeshita to have beef with Jay. I just want it to happen, okay? Similarly, similarly, this is another one. Jay versus the Bastard Pack. Again, there is no real reason why this should happen. I just want it as a pure fan. I love JY. 
pack home bro like newcastle talent i mean like whereas Takeshita and jay have similar physiques and sizes pack is completely different he's a short muscular man and basically spent most of his career as a high flying guy especially when he was like a cruiserweight and um he was as a neville in wwe do you remember that do you remember that this would i think more than any of the matches i'm going to talk about that i want to see will be a contrast of styles because jay i don't think i've ever seen jay fly over the ropes or do a moonsault but that's what neville is known for even despite being a big chunky man i again there's no real reason the storyline wise i just want to see it uh on the other hand where there is story tale wise uh, but i don't feel that like anyone else apart from me want to see it jay white this is one of the best friends so either jay white versus trent beretta or jay white versus chucky t why chaos that is the reason why so like i said um and i've mentioned and if you don't know where have you been where have you been the past five years jay white started his time in new japan as a member of chaos and i mean i don't know if this is the case now trent and chucky were both in chaos when they were in new japan so trent obviously started as part of Rapongi vice with rocky romero as a junior then he went up to heavyweight and joined with chuck and they became a very formidable team the best friends if i've said any names wrong if i have missed something if i have done something wrong i am very sorry i feel like there's so many names so many stories i'm trying to remember for this video that i will get lost in translation after jay um basically abandoned chaos which was inevitably going to happen i feel like i want him to go up against some former chaos guys We've seen it in New Japan, we've seen them all like showcase that they don't really care. Jay in their minds was basically never a member of Chaos. But I feel like Best Friends had a special link to Jay. Similarly with like Yo and Sho and Rocky. When they were on the roster they were teamed together and it just seemed like a great pair. Let's have it again. I mean don't do it in the case that you're going to turn one of them and bring them to black and gold. I just like to see stories get finished and that would be a very nice way to do so. Finally, one which probably will happen sooner rather than later is Jay White versus MJF. Now, MJF, since he made his big statement in AEW, has been one of the most hated, I guess that's what he was when I watched it, I think it's someone now, men on wrestling. He is cocky, he is arrogant, he is flashy, and to an extent, more similar to Jay than a lot of the other guys. You know Jay likes to show off. Jay is powerful. Jay is strong. Jay is cocky. Jay is confident. Let's put the two of them in the ring together and see who really is the top guy. And come on, are you telling me Jay White's going to leave New Japan where he was consistently a top contender for the top titles and not come after the All Elite Wrestling Champion? That has just got to happen. And I don't think that they've ever wrestled or even interacted in the past. But I think that while their styles and personalities are very similar, putting them both in the ring against each other will probably show just the small differences that make a huge impact. Who is the most badass? Who is the top dog? And who is the best wrestler in the world? Of course, if you ask me, it's always going to be Jay White, despite him breaking my heart when he left for chaos breaking my heart when he left new japan he his track record speaks for itself his history his experience so having him go up against the top name in all elite wrestling has to happen i personally don't think it'll happen very soon because it's a battle that you're gonna have you can't let your main guy your top guy seem weak but then you can't have a guy like JY who has come in as one of the top names in the wrestling industry and then just have him lose. You could have it in the case where they have a match non-title and there's some cheating going on, which means that neither man is made to seem weak. But maybe not right at this moment to have them win clean or anything with titles involved. But yeah, that is like the six guys that I really want Jay White to face at some point. They're like my dream matches, my dream feuds. And whether they happen or not, hey, Tony Khan, if you're watching, make it happen.
like I said, I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these sort of videos, but since obviously the Wednesday show was Jay White's big All Elite debut, I wanted to do something to sort of say that, you know what, I was upset he left New Japan, but if his home is in All Elite Wrestling, it's probably the best option that could have possibly happened. He's going to shine whatever he does, but these six feuds, whether it's personal or I think would actually make real sense, we're going to determine just how well Jay fits in, in with AEW and hopefully it's very well. Now I've told you my picks, I've mentioned some of these before whether it's on my channel and the other videos, True Heel Heat YouTube channel you should subscribe to them and also on the podcast on wrestling you should listen because I'm on there along with three of other amazing New Japan fans every fortnight. But let me know your own thoughts, let me know in the comments Follow me on social media at wrestling underscore chat and let me know your thoughts. What do you think of Jay White so far? Obviously, this is out the day after his debut match. What was it like? Is there anyone that you want him to wrestle? Is there any dream matches or feuds that you have in your mind? Let me know. And before I go, I just want to say I hit 2,000 subscribers last week. Um, I've been so busy that I didn't have a chance to do a separate video for it. But I just want to thank everyone so much. Like, when I started this channel a few years ago, I didn't think I'd get to this point. That people would want me to do reviews or videos or comment or get excited for them. So that is amazing. So to continue this, why don't you hit like, comment obviously, hit share, spread the word, spread Sonal's life to your New Japan friends, your AEW friends. And make sure to hit subscribe because I will be back with a lot more New Japan content possibly a lot more AEW content very soon so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully jay white doesn't have to hide who he is and gets to showcase his potential and talent in AEW. and i will see you guys very soon bye